What's a happy medium for you? Yesterday you were kind of hyped up and the press there conference no where it was. It's either then, high or low. High or low, yeah. I think I'm either are... off my head on cocaine or, or down on the floor off of a, <laughs> a tranquilizer injection. So, yeah. But when you're at home, you must be just be able to... Most of the time I'm just down and depressed like today. Why are you depressed today after yesterday then? Because every high there's a low, isn't there? So yesterday was a high, so today had to be a low. So, so what was it like the night after, or the morning after Dusseldorf then? Where were you there? I was okay the morning after, but within a few days I was down to this again. Yeah, I was down to this again, rock bottom. Well, even though you've just done what people Sorry. consider to be the impossible? And yeah, what does it really mean now? What does it all really mean? Nothing, does it? It's only about getting some money in it. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out what life's about. Life's about family, I suppose, and being happy with, with your surroundings and your wife and kids. That's it. And uh, trying to find where you fit in. But obviously, I don't fit in anywhere, so I'll be searching till the day I die. I fit in a grave, all right, though. I can guarantee that. Do you honestly care if you win or lose on the night? I don't know. You mean you mean it when you say that? Because it's hard to say. Say, take you seriously sometimes. I'm being serious. Care. I don't care if I win or lose. Win or lose, it'll, I don't know what's going to happen. Not really too interested, to be honest. Everyone wants to see me fight all the time and wants to see me do all these stupid things and act up and whatever. But I'm just sick of it, to be honest. I've done it all my life and I really am sick of it. But training camp starts for you properly now. You can actually forget all this media stuff, go into camp, put your head down for 10 weeks and put yourself through the pain barrier. i tell you what would be funny right, if I just turned up in this shape to the fight in the night, wouldn't it? Do you believe you'd beat Klitschko in the shape you're in at the moment? No. Oh. Can't, can you? Because I'd be fucked after five rounds. <laughs> but I'd, I'd just walk him down if I was in this shape. I wouldn't dance around. Just put my hands up and walk him down. Take punches and then hit him when I can. Um, so the final thing I want to talk to you about, you tweeted about uh, David Price the other day. Uh, I believe that he's fighting with Teppers now, being declared as a no yeah, contest. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's happy Which news is positive him, news it? for David Price, and obviously the rankings as well, Teppers has been removed out of the IBF rankings. So yeah, and I hear that David's going to go back in the IBF rankings in May. So in the next month's ranking. So that's only a few days away, so I'll be uh, eager to see where they place him. Mm. Because I know Teppers at five, isn't he? Or something like that. Mm, something like that. Near about, sir. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Interesting for him. Interesting for his family. And obviously, he might be more motivated than I am. He might have wanted it more than I do. So, yeah. If, if I could switch places right now, after I've won my stuff and that's it, I would. But obviously, I can't. So, he has to do his own thing for his own self. But you've been very vocal in the past about the problem of peds and, and drugs in general in, in the sport. But... I said it's happening more and more now. It seems to be Sturm recently as well. Tepar, even Thompson, obviously. Who, who Big positive Stern. Stern, yeah. So has the, the Russian guy got his title back? I don't know what's happened in regards to that, but he, he apparently he fa failed a drugs test after his fight. Yeah, there was Stern, um, Tepper, Brown. Brown's been cleared now, hasn't he? Has he? I think so, yeah. So there's been a few, but a, the drug, people take drugs, don't they, in boxing? They all take drugs, I'd say. All of them. Really? Yeah. I'd say they're all they're all abusing um, performance enhancers or weight strippers or whatever they're going to do to 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 take drugs. I think I think they all take drugs. All athletes. Define all. Who is it? Everybody. Well, obviously you're not talking about yourself, so. I only take cocaine and weed now and again. Yeah. And ecstasy. You know, people are going to, this is going to run as a front page thing tomorrow Tyson so, and drug scandal. I, I am, I'm a recovering um, heroin addict. Yeah. Right. I, I, just, I just do, that's just my opinion. Just like the other opinions I've had, I think all athletes at a high level take drugs of some sort. That's it. People can say, no, they don't, no, they don't, no, they don't, but that's just my opinion. I think they do. Would you swap that for a vast majority, or would you genuinely mean 
everyone. Just mean everyone. Okay. Like I said, you're entitled to your view, so. Oh. Look. So you can tell I've been taking drugs, can't you? Beefed up, you see. Maybe a few kebabs there, Tyson. Yeah, maybe. All right. Even doing? even if you don't physically take drugs, you eat drugs. Because if you eat beef or any of these meats, they've been injected with steroids. So if they check the human body thoroughly, it's full of steroids. Unless you've got a cow at home that you've raised from a child and you've fed it on grass and you, you eat that. But apart from that, all these beef animals are all full of GMO anyway. All these animals, because it's about money. And when there's money involved in businesses, it's going to be bent, corrupt. It's about right. Do your facts, do your homework, research it. Most of these animals today are full of GMO, pump full of steroids to make them big because they, they sell per pound per kilo. It's all about money, isn't it? So then again, that's what the farmers do. They drug them up, feed them on rubbish full of drugs and then they come beefy again. And that's it. Everyone's hench, everyone gets bigger. And uh, that's why the people of today are a lot bigger than they were 60, 70 years ago, on average. A lot bigger. Because it's in the food. It can't be anything else, it's the food. Technology isn't always the answer. Should there be a lifetime ban for people caught using pegs in boxing especially? I don't think so. Second chances? There's plenty of second chances being given out, isn't there? So it is what it is. It's up to everyone. If they do it, they do it. If they don't, they don't. Listen, didn't help Vladimir Klitschko, did it, on the 28th of uh, November 2015? You know... So, they don't do shit, do they? If you can't fight, you can't fight. Simple. You can try and look for a drug or something to make you better. But if you can't fight, you can't fight. Especially in the heavyweight division. God almighty. Oh, he's stronger than me. Well, I'm sure there's heavyweights at 6 foot and 15 stone. And then there's a man at 6 foot 9 and 19 stone. Who's the strongest out of them two? Who's going to be it? Yeah. So, if that man took drugs all his life, it wouldn't make him as big as this man, would it? So therefore, it wouldn't still be even, even if he was full of drugs and he wasn't. Can't put muscles on the chin, and drugs don't improve that, or that, or them. Not at all. So, so would, there's, would, your, drug, would, there's would, your drug talk. Would, drugs can put muscles on you, that's it. Would Price have still lost them fights if Tepper and Thompson weren't on whatever they were on? Yeah, I think he would. Of course he would have. Of course he would have. Because right. he got chinned in three fights. It wasn't like it was a strongman competition where they lifted some weights or whatever. He didn't run out of steam, did he? Like Price, in that one, that was the second round, wasn't it, when he got knocked out by Tapper? The first time, was it the first? The second time was four or five, I think, wasn't it? And Tepper was two. Oh, Tepper it? was two, sorry, I was thinking of Thompson. Yeah, sorry. so he wasn't the, the drugs then, was it? Because it was, it was a fresh man versus a fresh man. He just got caught, that's it, it's heavyweight boxing. You get caught, you get it, you go down, end of. I don't think the drugs why he lost the fights. I think it was because he got caught and he didn't recover. It can happen to anybody. But um, that's it. It is what it is. There is no more. So if I'm going to get in trouble for it and get a ban from boxing for talking the truth, then ban me. Do I care? No. Because it is the truth, what I'm saying. Okay, unless you've got anything else to 